This is Capsidia Satellite College, newly constructed business center, the site for the proposed shellfish port, a joint project with the city and provincial government unit. The project will rise next to the business center. Upon entering the entrance gate of the college, it will occupy an approximate area of 600 square meters more or less, including the parking area. The project aims to regulate the quality and sale of sand, strengthen the protection of the shellfish industry in the province of Capiz and the city of Rose. This is Capsudaya's contribution of strengthening our claim to be the seafood's capital of the Philippines. The location is an ideal site and is both accessible by land and by water, not to mention that it is the center of fisheries studies in the province of Capiz. This institution is located to point two kilometers northeast from the heart of the city and is about 1.5 kilometers from the Roxas City Fish Port. The site of its proposed wharf extends to the rivers of Libaton, the river that supplies the college's pond waters. The concept for the establishment of the shellfish port emanated from the fish cage fisher folks who are the same time engaged in aster and green mussel culture along Libaton and Kadimahan rivers. The number of fisher folks engaged in shellfish culture are rapidly increasing in numbers every year. They have saturated Kadimahan River. They extend from tank to the port of Kulasi. As to how much these farmers are producing annually, there is no accurate record to be found. The increasing number of fisher folks in this river are starting to narrow the navigational area of the rivers. Likewise, their increasing number cannot speak to the volume of the products produced Fisher folks are also left in a dilemma of where to sell their products. It is therefore believed that a regulating body should be established to give the fisher folks an equal opportunity to enjoy the sale of their shellfish products. And that could only be possibly answered by the establishment of the shellfish poor, which is believed to regulate and strengthen the industry. The partnership of the college and the LGUs is believed to be very beneficial for the community. The establishment of the shellfish port will open doors for employment and livelihood as it would strengthen, preserve and protect our shellfish industry, eventually contributing to the income of the locality. The college, on the other hand, will benefit from the enhancement of their quadro-dimensional functions in instruction, research, extension and production. It will likewise open opportunities for students taking up fisheries and develop their skills in their on-the-job training and open other opportunities related in the field of fisheries and that too is a fact. For now, we can only but hope that the proposal will be given merit and proper attention by our local counterparts. We are not here to compete nor cross any boundaries, but we are here to work hand in hand for a better Roa's city and a better province of Capus.